Hey folks, this is Mr. Curtis over at Oakwood, and today we're going to be covering how to perform the dad song, Arco, or With Your Bow. So, first thing you need to do is make sure you have your posture set. I'm standing currently feet shoulder width apart. If you want, go through the Statue of Liberty phases. Get that instrument settled up on your shoulder, not your chest, not in the middle of your body, but up on your shoulder. You should be able to hug your belly and the instrument will stand. Make sure the neck is parallel with the floor. It shouldn't be shooting up into the sky. It shouldn't be dipping down really, really low. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna set your bow hold. My thumb is super duper bumpy. Middle finger on the ferrule, ring finger for the frog. My pinky is curved, rounded on top, and I've got the big knuckle, my next finger laying over the stick. Cool. So once you've got your bow hold, you've got your instrument set, make sure you turn your body slightly to the right, like I'm, I'm, I'm stepping with my feet right now to turn my body, until your scroll is facing right where you want it to face. Like if I have a stand in front of me, my scroll is going to be facing my stand. So for the dad song, you really want to be aware of where your elbow is going. So if I go on my D string, my elbow is going to be a little bit higher. When I go to my A string, my elbow is going to drop down to get onto that A string. I would recommend practicing this shadow bowing with the metronome. So you'll flip the bow over, place it in your elbow. If I were going to go D, actually I'll start with my elbow a little higher, D, A, D, and watch for that off reset in between during the rests. D, A, D, you can see my elbow pivoting, I'll off reset during the rest. From there, the only thing that you really want to be, be aware of is in that part that goes A, rest, A, rest, you're not going to off reset there. D, A, D, off reset. Once you feel comfortable shadow bowing it, then you can put it to arco. Make sure your bow is set that it is parallel with the bridge. You'll be bending and flexing your wrist. You should make a T shape on the instrument, not an X. T shape. It'll sound something like this, so make sure you have your metronome set to 45. Watch out for that elbow. Here we go. And one, two, on the D string, here I go. D, off reset, off reset. Reset. Slow bow. Two, three, four, and off. So for that last note, that D, that is a four count hold. So you initiate on the click and you count. One te, two te, three te, four te, off. That last D is four counts. Make sure you're moving your bow slowly. Don't rush through it and run out of bow. Check the elbow. Make sure your bowl is consistent. Good luck.